Hey there, Scorpio. Welcome to your reading for uh, the week of November 28th. We're just going to jump right in here, Scorpio, and we are going to take a look at your uh, past position here. And in your past position, you have this grasshopper spirit that says, take a leap of faith. So, you know, it's kind of interesting, even though that this is your past position, <laughs> I feel like there's a leap of faith you need to take right now. I'm, I'm, I could be wrong, but um, I'm pretty sure you had that card in your uh, end of the year reading, or you might've had something very similar, but there's like some sort of uh, leap of faith that you have to take at this time. You know, a lot of it, you know, I kind of feel part of it is like trusting yourself and you know, which can be hard to do, <laughs> like trusting that you're making the right decision or, um, you know, trusting that you can fully invest yourself into like a new business or your career or a direction in life. Like I think, especially if you're making a big decision right now, like what you're going to do for the rest of your life in a career or about love, you, uh, you have a really good love reading. Again, weird, like all of a sudden everyone's had good love readings again, which is strange, but whatever. And I would say if you're making a big life decision, this is about like trusting yourself is what I'm getting here. But, you know, grasshoppers represent luck. <laughs> so I feel like there is a lot of luck in a situation that does feel like a leap of faith. I'm wondering, just kind of looking around at the cards here, and I'm using the Tarot of the Mystical Moments, by the way, I'm wondering if like a big decision is just taking you in a direction that you didn't think you would go in, right? It's like, imagine... You know, I, I always use like marriage as an example because I think that's a big one. Most people or a lot of people that watch me want to get married. It's not true for all of you. I get that. Um, but what I would say is it's like one of those things where it's like, do you uh, want to get married and have a career? Do you want to get married and stay at home? Like what? Like I feel like these big decisions are being made. And that's what I mean. But also some of you, it's like you could be meeting a person in the future. It could be a fire sign, by the way, as well. Or you have earth, fire. You know, basically everything here, but earth and fire definitely stand out to me. It could be, you know, some of their uh, big placements are in earth or fire as well. So it could be any sign, but it's like, you could find yourself in a situation where you're like, um, maybe you didn't think you wanted to get married and now you do. <laughs> so there's some sort of weird, like big decision. And it, I do feel for a lot of you, it's surrounding love, but I feel like there's a lot of luck in this situation. Um, you know, it's interesting. I, you know, I can't get away from this card and it's interesting that he has a crown on. So, you know, I'm wondering if you're attracting like your king or your queen or whatever you're looking for. It doesn't matter, right? And so it's almost as if this opportunity is too good to pass up. And that's kind of what I feel for you here. And again, if it's not love, it could be like a business opportunity that just takes you in a direction you didn't think you were going to go in. You have the Ace of Cups, the Magician, and the Knight of Pentacles. The interesting thing is, is I like I think you attracted this situation into your life, whether you realize it or not. So it's almost as if you've been asking for something and kind of, and now you're receiving it. But again, it maybe it just looks a little bit different. I, um, really, the reason I say this as well is you have the four cups here. Sometimes with the four cups, it's like he has those four cups in front of him and he's manifesting something in his life. But, um, you know, it's a card of contemplation and apathy. He's normally looking at those four cups and saying, like, I, this isn't what I wanted, but actually it is. <laughs> so I feel like you're manifesting something and it could be a big cup. You have the Ace of Cups here. And it's going to lead to a change. I think it's interesting that in this deck, the Tarot of the Mystical Moments, you can see all these butterflies floating out of the Ace of Cups. You know, it kind of says that it, accepting the cup is what's going to lead to a transformation in your life. So there's some sort of cup being presented to you. And again, take it how it resonates. It doesn't have to be love. For some of you, it clearly is money related because you have the Eight of Pentacles here as well. But um, I feel like regardless of what it is, you are going to love it you know? <laughs> so even if it's a job, I feel like you are going to love what you do. And um, so there is an element of the energy of love here, right? You have the Knight of Pentacles here as well. A little bit unsure. Like I said, I get like a little bit of this uncertainty kind of that we've been talking about. I really just feel like that's your energy. It's almost, it's kind of a more giving me the vibes of a background energy where it's like, you know what to do, but you could be hesitating at the same time, not calling you out, but I am. So let's see. With the Ace of Cups, you have the Seven of Wands. Seven of Wands is a card of conviction. It says like, when you know that you know that something is for you, then it's for you and you're going to be successful. So don't be afraid to like commit to something here is what I'm feeling with that Ace of Cups and the Seven of Wands. Um, I would also say like, of course, stick up for your boundaries. Seven of Wands is like drawing a line in the sand. And so if you're being presented with an offer and you know, if, if there are things that kind of um, cross boundaries, then of course, it, then something isn't right for you. But, you know, I kind of feel this is more, look at this, you, with the magician, you have the love lovers. 
or, or what is this? No, the three of cups, but love. <laughs> there are three people on this card and there's like a heart in between them. So I feel like this is love coming in for you. But you know what's really interesting is I feel like maybe in past relationships, you've learned that you have like, you have to have certain, you know, boundaries that shouldn't be crossed. And um, the other weird thing is I'm wondering if you're attracting a person like this as well. So I'm not sure it, you, you could be attracting a person where you both have had issues with boundaries in the past, or maybe you let people get away with certain things that you normally wouldn't let people get away with in relationships. It's like you've learned to put these boundaries up with the seven of wands. Very interesting. Again, I feel like the three of cups is saying you're attracting a person who could be in a similar space. I encourage a lot of communication right now, just because of the astrology. You know, there is a lot of love that has come up. I said at the beginning of the year that the end of the year, I thought there would be a lot of love and I haven't been wrong. And what I would say is the one, my one concern is, and it's not really a concern, but just an energy to work with, right? Because astrology isn't a prison sentence, is Neptune and Pisces. Neptune and Pisces, the fantasy feels better than the reality. And that that's actually not true. It's like one of those things where it's not true, but we think it is. <laughs> and you could be getting into something, right? Where you have built up this fantasy of, about what the future of the relationship will be. And that's why people get to cross boundaries during this time is because we have this fantasy that is created by Neptune and Pisces. So I think the way around this, the way to work with the energy is if you meet a new person is to communicate upfront about expectations, what you both expect, because both people have expectations in relationships. I think as long as you get that out of the way, then this will go swimmingly very well. With the Knight of Pentacles, you have the Page of Swords. Um, you know, I feel like there's like a lot of self-exploration that you've been doing uh, for yourself. You have the Three of Wands next. And that Three of Wands, I really feel is your expansion. You know, I feel the Three of Wands sometimes is just us. Um, it, it, it's not really our ships coming in. It's not really our ships coming out. It's really just us expanding into the world. Um, you have this new moon in Taurus. It says, know your worth. I feel like you've learned your value, like what you are, what you want to bring to the table <laughs> in love or otherwise as well. It's like, I feel like you've learned like what your boundaries are. Again, with that seven of wands, you've learned what you're capable of. Why is this important? I'm going to pull another one of these cards. You have the last quarter moon in Virgo. It says, attend to the details. That doesn't really help, but you know, I feel like you've learned the details about like what you want and what you expect in all areas of your life. You have the Three of Wands, the Emperor, and the Four of Cups. Again, this Three of Wands is telling me that you're kind of like growing and expanding and you want more growth. I also feel like you've kind of, it's almost like I see you looking at this certain types of energies that you need to allow into your life as well. Meaning like if you have a relationship, I feel like there's a certain energy that that relationship would have to meet because it's like you're at a level and I feel like you've realized to stay at the level you're at or go higher. It's like you need to attract something at the same level. Uh, same thing in business as well. It's like if you're making less money than you want, I feel like something that you have learned is that you need to level up. You need to like go get something else or ask for a raise or a promotion. So I get a major kind of like leveling up energy. Look how big she is <laughs> on this card. She's like standing over a city almost on this version of the three of wands. So I really like this. I really like this energy. Some of you could be attracting an Aries or someone with Aries in their chart. You have the emperor here. Again, take it how it resonates. Um, for some of you, I'm wondering if you dealt with a Aries in the past that cheated or lied or something like that. But for the most part, I also feel this is about you taking control of your life. What you're taking control of is your four of cups here. Again, I always say that the four of cups to me is kind of about like needing to mix some energy together. The four cups, normally there are four cups on the card and it's kind of like, you know, imagine if you were trying to manifest a cake, those four cups have all the ingredients for a cake in them, but you have to mix them together. So I feel like you really have to kind of like, you're, you're having to mix things together or energies together to be more successful in life. And I feel like the emperor is saying, is kind of like saying that, that you're taking control of the energies that you're mixing together in your life. <laughs> Very interesting. But this is like, it's like you're noticing the weird, I think a better way to put this for you, Scorpio, so that it actually makes sense, is that I think you're noticing how like this, how certain things affect your life. Could be like your relationship to food. Maybe you eat certain foods that make you feel bad and you're realizing that it affects your business. Maybe there are certain people in your life that affect your business. Maybe they're outside the business, but you're recognizing the connection. This, this recognition here is what's causing the three of wands. That's literally what the reading is saying to me recognizing this is allowing you to put up boundaries and it's allowing you to expand. Um, you know, it's like when we have good energy just flowing into us, then we're expanding. Here you go with the three of wands. You have six of swords. 
Moving on to Commerce Wars, just improvements. We can just look at the Six of Swords as a card of improvements and a card of like cutting things out. I wouldn't really say you're cutting anything out here. I don't get that energy for you. I just get more, you know, a boundary energy and you're just not willing to let anything cross that line in the sand. Like I said, with the Emperor here, you have the Hermit. You learn this through probably like Dark Knights of the Soul, uh, you know, probably multiple dark nights of the soul, <laughs> probably multiple challenges and difficulties. And now you have found some like inner answers with the hermit. So I feel like you've learned like exactly what to do here. Let's see. Uh, it could also be a Virgo coming in for some of you. Although I feel like you're leaving a Virgo, not the other way around. Uh, you have the, with the four cups, you have the tower. Uh, this is your energy. I mean, you are the tower card Scorpio. So it doesn't really surprise me. But I also feel like some of you, there could just be like a lingering energy of a confusing situation. This is really popping into my head as not so much a tower moment. Although again, I don't, I'm not gonna sugarcoat it. I feel like if, if this message is for you, you had a tower moment. If this was a person that caused confusion in your life. But I, like I feel really, I, I really don't have any good advice for you here, um, Scorpio, because the, the advice that I'm getting is just time. And you know, I feel like the longer you're away from like a person, who caused confusion, the more clarity that you're going to gain. So, you know, it's like, is that good advice? Probably, probably not, <laughs> but there you go. Uh, next in the area of your future, you have this co-create card. I feel you're definitely more focused on co-creative uh, experiences. I've been saying forever that we're entering into an energy of co-creation. Um, and I would also, I've been encouraging people to co-create because that's where you're going to get the most benefits. In co-creation, we don't necessarily even have to work with anyone. If we have advice, we could put it on YouTube, on a video. That is co-creation. If you are an artist, you could be creating a piece of art for people to enjoy, and that is co-creation. So there's like a million, there's a million ways we can co-create. And I would just say anything you can do to co-create would be amazing. I also feel like you could be attracting a person here clearly in this reading. And I feel this person wants, wants to co-create with you. You have the Page of Swords, the Seven of Swords, and the Eight of Pentacles. You know, I feel like I've been saying this to you for weeks. Either you have your eye on someone or they have their eye on you. I'm not sure here with this uh, Page of Swords. And I'm wondering, um, you know, this guy's dressed up like a person from school <laughs> or college. So you might know this person from like college or school. I'm also just getting like social energy as well. So, you know, if you've been like hanging out with a new group of friends, for example, or you know, something along those lines, or maybe you've joined a new social group, or maybe you have a new job where you've been socializing with new people. I really feel that there could be either it's you or them, or maybe you're both spying on each other or watching each other here, but I definitely feel someone has their eye on you. Uh, next, you have the Seven of Swords. Seven of Swords can be lying, cheating, stealing. I definitely feel if you had a tower moment, you could be with a past person, Virgo, Aries, one or the other uh, here. I'm also getting Gemini popping into my head as well, but they might've had Gemini on their chart. Um, you know, I feel that this, you know, you're kind of just like moving past it and it's almost not worth mentioning. And you have the Eight of Pentacles. I kind of feel like since, you know, for some of you, obviously this tower moment could have happened a long time ago, and but maybe you're still feeling the energy. And I feel since then, you've just been really working on yourself and probably working on work in general with the Eight of Pentacles. I kind of see your work as something that is breathing, you know? It's like there's this, you know, I feel for some of you, especially for those of you with like a side hustle, or like maybe a YouTube channel or, or some sort of business as well. It's almost like it goes through these periods of like the expansion and then contraction, right? I feel like you're trying to either speed that up or get that, or you're trying to get it into a better kind of um, breathing energy, right? <laughs> or you're trying to get it more consistent. Maybe that's a better way to put it. That's like what I'm getting intuitively. I think it's interesting that you, have, you basically have two cards of education here. It's a card of apprenticeship. So it's like a card of learning, right? And you also have that Page of Swords. Page of Swords is like my true detective of the tarot. And to me, he really like looks into things, really tries to learn about stuff. So I'd say if you are, if you are experiencing financially the expansion and contraction, but almost maybe you can almost set your watch to it, right? That's how consistent this feels to me. It's, it's inconsistent in how consistent it is. <laughs> but what I would say here is I feel like education will stop the, you know, the breathing energy. It's almost like it's not bad, but you just want something consistent. So which, you know, that makes perfect sense. Especially for those of you, again, that are working on a project, like a side project, side business or whatever. I feel like you want it maybe to take over as your job so that it can be your business. With the Page of Swords, you have the Strength card. I feel like you're gonna, you are going to make this happen, Scorpio. I mean, strength is a card of showing off in a good way. You know, normally the lady has her hands in a lion's mouth. 
And I always say, who in their right mind would stick their hands in a lion's mouth? And the answer is nobody. <laughs> so I feel like for some of you, this is saying that you are going to be kind of like pulling this off. You are going to be making something happen. With the Seven of Swords, you have the Five of Wands. Five of Wands is a card of like taking a risk. It's a, And you have the Five of Wands twice here. So Five of Wands, not really a card of taking a risk, but it's a card I call Indiana Jones. So, you know, it's a card of going on some sort of crazy adventure and finding your treasure, but it's really a card of learning as well. The people on the Five of Wands, they're normally using sticks to fight. They're not using swords. So it's a card of like education. I also feel some of you could be worried about competition, but... You know, again, competition, co-creation. I say this all the time that we are moving into co-creation. Uh, co We're moving away from competition. That does not mean that there won't be competition. It just means that co-creative co energy, I believe, is being rewarded more. So that's the direction I'd move in. With the Eight of Pentacles, you have the Page of Cups. Definitely, there's like a lingering love energy here. There's a lingerer <laughs> here. I'm not sure if it's you or them lingering though here, Scorpio. So, you know, again, if it's you, I would shoot your shot. If it's another person... I mean, obviously we can't control what other people do, but I feel like they're gonna shoot their shot anyway. It could be a fire sign. You have a lot of fire here. At the end, for your outcome, you have this great big love card. So clearly there's a very solid love connection coming in here. I'm wondering if someone's nervous here, because again, you have the nine of swords and the five of wands in this row as well. It's like a good row with this card. But if you want love, I feel like there's some resistance or there's something that is not like progressing here that needs to progress maybe because of someone's fears with that nine of swords uh and you know i would also say that this great big love card like i said it could be you just loving anything that you're working on and like putting your energy into it but you have the nine of swords nine of cups and the five of wands it's like you need to be in the nine of cups energy um or you know someone you're dealing with does not the nine of swords nine of swords is like having a nightmare waking up and being stuck in a nightmare. So I feel for a lot of you, this is saying that you need to, um, you know, kind of like end a nightmare basically, or get out of a nightmare with this situation, or you just need to get out of your own head. I really feel this is a head, you know, I feel like this is a head energy. Like I was saying earlier, if you're dealing with a person and the person is like this, I feel communication, just being open about it is the best thing right now, especially with Neptune and Pisces. It's like, if you're dealing with a person who's being closed off, just calling it out and saying, hey, why are you closed off? And maybe it'll scare them away. But here's my thing. It's like, people always say that to me. They're, they're like, oh, I'm, I'm worried that they're gonna run away or whatever. I'm like, yeah, but it's like, why like why settle <laughs> for, for a situation that isn't right in the first place? If they run away, they were always gonna run away in the first place. So you're not really losing anything that you think you had is kind of what I'm trying to say here. So again, I would open up and guess what? I don't think they will run away. I feel that nine of cups, you're probably gonna get what you wish for. They'll probably realize that they're being guarded and that they don't have to be guarded with you and they can be open. So, you know, I, that's what I'd say here. I would just communicate. Nine of cups is an energy of bathing in an energy before you have it. So I think it's an amazing time to kind of like, you know, try to be in the energy of what you want. Everybody's been getting this recently. Again, I think it's Neptune and Pisces plus Jupiter and Pisces, major, major manifestation energy. So, you know, if you want abundance, go be around abundance. If you want love, go be around love. And it doesn't have to be exactly the thing that you want. It just has to be similar. It has to give you those feelings. If you do that, you're going to attract it very quickly. You have the five of wands here. You know, again, I'm getting something about hobbies or something. I'm getting something about enjoyment. Like the word enjoyment is popping into my head here. Five of wands is my card of hobbies. Like, you know, things that you enjoy outside of like its actual meaning, right? And uh, I feel like some of you are, it's like you enjoy doing something and you want to do more of it. This again, could be like a side hustle that you want to turn into a business. It could just be something you want to do more of, whatever. It's like you want this enjoyment. Let's see. Uh, with the nine of swords, you have the eight of swords. Someone's feeling stuck. We already know this. I mean, it's basically, you know, even though it's a different card, it's basically the card saying, I meant what I said. <laughs> it's just the same energy. So someone's stuck here. They can't see something. So you know, again, whether it's you or that, if it's you, I would just try to open up if you're feeling like you want to end a cycle. Um, I feel like it is ending. If it's the person, I would just communicate. With the nine of cups, you have the devil here. Someone has definitely experienced devil energy, although I don't feel bad about this devil. The, the devil, sometimes I feel good for work, you know, for work and business. It is Saturn. And, you know, to me, it is a good card for like what you are working on and putting work as long as you're putting your creative energy like out <laughs> because the problem the problem here's where the devil is bad right is if we ha come up with an idea like for 
work or business and but it just sits right here we don't we don't put it out into the world so as long as you're taking action on your ideas or your new ideas then i feel like that's a good card for you with the five of wands you have the ten of swords yeah again i feel like someone's definitely fearing conflict fearing an ending fearing something coming to an end but it's actually not going to come to an end uh for others i feel it is saying that like a tower moment from the past uh, is definitely coming to an end. Someone who is toxic and stuck. I feel like they're opening up to new love, plain and simple. But uh, that's that, Scorpio. Looks pretty good. So we're going to pull three cards now. We're going to do one, two, and three right here. Uh, feel free to pause your re this reading if you need time to think of a question. I'm going to answer one question. If you don't have a question, that's fine too. I'm going to put them all together just as, as like a personalish reading. But uh, pause now, because I'm going to read the cards. You have the Two of Wands, the Five of Cups, and the Two of Pentacles. Uh, I feel like this is like Two of Wands is, again, very similar to that Three of Wands. Both cards are cards of leadership and like taking, but more in the sense that you're taking lead over your own life. Five of Cups, some sort of past disappointment. Two of Pentacles says you're juggling now, or maybe you're just kind of, I feel like some of you are kind of just like doing things just to do them. Do I feel bad about this? kind of <laughs> sometimes i think we it's like we uh um want to make money so then we'll just like do anything to make money and i feel like this is encouraging you to be like a little bit more focused same thing in love sometimes we lo lo like lose love and then we'll just date anyone we'll just do anything right and just because we don't want to feel the pain any longer and i'm not saying this is talking about pain but i do feel like it is saying that you should be kind of like focusing your energy would be a better idea here i also feel like there's some sort of comfort zone that you need to leave two ones like a comfort zone card and so th this reading is very expansive, like we talked about, in, in the sense that I feel like you're growing into the world. And I would move more towards expansive opportunities. Like if you're wondering, what, what, like if, if you have a choice here, is what I'm trying to spit out, I would pick the bigger one, the one that is going to expand you into the world more, whatever that, whatever that means for you, right? Uh, but really good reading, very interesting. So thank you for being here, Scorpio. Really appreciate it. Make sure to watch your sun, moon, and rising for a full picture of what's going on for you at this time. But uh, thank you and definitely enjoy your week.